Hello viewers and welcome to the program. My name is Makovalo Frederick. I'm going to present to you a lesson in mathematics. In today's lesson, we are going to look at the sign rule. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to use the sign rule to calculate the length of a side in a triangle in a situation where you are given two angles and a side. And I expect you to be able to find the size of an angle in a triangle in a situation where you are given the lengths of two sides and an angle opposite to one of the two sides. In order to derive the sine rule, we are going to use a general case of a triangle. But before we do that, I want us to use a specific triangle which we are going to analyze and be able to find the size of a side after the analytical method has been used. So let's move on and analyze this triangle. So with us is a triangle KLM in which the angle at K is 35. The angle at L is 105 and the side LM is 20 meters. We have been asked to find the length of the side KL. The first thing we need to do is to find the size of the angle at M. What is the size of the angle at M? Good. The angle at M is 40 degrees because these three angles in the triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So 35 plus 105 will give us 140. When we subtract 140 from 180, the angle at M is going to be 40 degrees. Then we need to introduce a perpendicular line to this triangle. This perpendicular line must be drawn in such a way that the side we want to find, KL, is the hypotenuse and the side that has been given, LM, is also the hypotenuse. So we are going to draw a perpendicular line from L to the line KM to meet the line KM at 90 degrees. And we will let this line meet the line KM at a point P. In order to assist in the analysis, we are going to let the line LP be equal to the variable Y. Then, we are now going to analyze the two triangles one at a time. Let us look at the triangle KPL. In the triangle KPL, we have an angle at K which is 35, and opposite to this angle 35 degrees, we have PL which we have introduced and we are saying that is Y. We have been asked to find the length of the side KL. So, we must be in a position to relate the angle 35 degrees, the side Y, and the side we want to find KL. 
what are we going to use? Good. It is going to be the sine ratio because y is opposite and kl is the hypotenuse. So the relationship will come out as follows. The sine of 35 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is denoted by y, divided by the hypotenuse, which we want to find, and it is kl. When we make y the subject of the formula, y is going to be equal to kl multiplied by the sine of 35 degrees. We are going to reserve this expression and label it as equation number 1. We now move on to the other right angle triangle, PML, in which we have an angle which is 40, we have a side Y which is opposite to the 40 degrees, and we have 20 which has been given. Similarly, this being the opposite, this being the hypotenuse, we are going to use the sine rule in order to come up with the, a relationship involving the three of them. So, we have the sine of 40 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is y, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 20 meters. We again make y the subject of the formula, we are going to have y is equal to 20 meters multiplied by the sine of 40 degrees. We label this one as equation number 2. So now we look at equation number 1 and equation number 2. We are going to see that in equation number 1, y is equal to kl multiplied by sine 35 degrees. In equation number 2, the same y is equal to 20 multiplied by the sine of 40 degrees. Therefore, this expression which is equal to y must be equal to this other expression which is also equal to y. So we are going to conclude and state that KL from the first equation multiplied by the sine of 35 degrees is equal to 20 meters multiplied by the sine of 40 degrees from our second equation. Remember, the task before us is to find the length of the side KL. And in our expression, KL is multiplied by the sine of 35 degrees. The inverse for multiplication by sine 35 is division by the sine of 35. So when we divide both sides of our equation by the sine of 35, KL will stand out alone. So let's just do that. We divide the left hand side by the sine of 35 degrees. In order to balance the equation, we also divide the right hand side by the sine of 35 degrees. The sine of 35 degrees will divide with the other sine of 35 degrees in the denominator. On the left hand side, we are going to remain with KL, which is equal to 20 meters multiplied by the sine of 40 degrees divided by the sine 
above 35 degrees. At this point, I want you to use your calculators to find the value of 20 multiplied by sine 40 degrees, then divided by sine 35 degrees. What solution are you getting? Good. It is 22.4133 to 4 decimal places. So, KL is equal to 22.4133 meters. That is to 4 decimal places. Our standard normally is to express our answers correct to three significant figures. So when we correct KL to three significant figures, KL is going to be equal to 22.4 meters. So we have managed to analyze our triangle KML and we have found the length of the side KL. So having done this, we will now have to move on and look at a general situation from which we will be able to derive the sine rule so that at the end of it, we will be able to use it to calculate lengths of triangles and the angles of triangles in situations that are going to arise. So now, let us look at the general case triangle A, B, C and uh, use it to derive the sine rule. Given the vertices A, B and C in a triangle, how are we going to identify the sides of this triangle using small letters? Exactly. The small letters we are going to use for the sides are small letter A for this side because it is opposite the angle capital letter A. And we are going to have Small letter B for this side, which is opposite the angle capital letter B. In the same way, this side AB will be identified as small letter C. In order to derive the sine rule, we are going to use the angle A, the side A, the angle B, and the side B. Since these two sides have to be used, we are going to draw a perpendicular line on this triangle such that this side and this other side will be the resulting hypotenuse sides of the two right angle triangles that we are going to create. So, we draw a perpendicular line from C to AB to meet AB at 90 degrees. And we let the point at which the line is meeting AB be denoted by M. We can also let the distance from C to N be denoted by the letter X. So like we did in the specific case that we had, we are going to analyze the two triangles ANC and CNB separately. Let us start with the triangle A, N, C. In the triangle A, N, C, we have agreed we are going to use the angle A, the side B, 
and we have introduced a side x. Note that x is opposite the angle we are going to use. B is the hypotenuse. Like in the specific case, these three are going to be related using the sine ratio. So let's move on and come up with a relationship. The sine of the angle at A is equal to the opposite, which is x, divided by the hypotenuse, which is denoted by the letter, small letter, b. We are going to make x the subject of the formula. When we make x the subject of the formula, we get x is equal to b multiplied by sine of the angle at A. We are going to reserve this equation and label it as equation number 1. I want you to look at the triangle CNB considering that we have the angle B, the side X and the hypotenuse a, and come up with a relationship like the one which we have labeled as the equation number one. In the same way we came up with x equals to b sine a, we are going to have the sine of the angle b as being equal to the 